On a scale of one to ten, how good's bacon? Oh, bacon is life. There you go. How, and how good's that cake? <laughs> this cake is tasty. Beautiful. It tastes like a normal cake. Hey guys! So for those of you who just saw the last video, you know that today is Adam's birthday. Yay! So this extra special video is to share with you the delicious banana bread cake recipe that I'm going to make him with cashew, cashew cream. cream frosting. This recipe is gluten free, egg free, dairy free, Perfect for you guys that have a plant-based diet or a vegan, and you would have no idea that it's just figure of all of those things because it tastes that good. So, so let's, let's get started. started. For the cashew cream frosting, you need to soak cashews. Now you can do it overnight if you'd like, but if you didn't do it the day before, what you can do is just put cashews in a bowl and use boiling water and soak them for only about one to two hours. Add just enough water to cover the cashews. Set aside. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, or if you're in Australia and you're on Celsius, 190 degrees Celsius. So the batter for this cake is gonna be the same batter we used in the last video, which was for the banana bread muffins and the banana bread loaf. Really simple, so the first thing you're gonna do is mash up six bananas. Wow, bananas! It's okay if your bananas are a little brown, guys. You want them to be ripe, that's a good thing. Use a fork and mash away. It also helps if they are ripe for the mashing. Add in a teaspoon of vanilla and half of a cup of melted coconut oil. Give that a quick little stir. Add half of a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Add one teaspoon of baking powder and two teaspoons of baking soda. Mix together. Add one cup of arrowroot flour and two cups of almond meal. This last ingredient is optional. We're gonna add a cup of oats, but we know that oats are sometimes considered gluten-free and sometimes not considered gluten-free. So if you are celiac or you know that you do react to oats, you don't need to add this in. We tested it without the oats and it does work without the oats. Mix it all together. Now that this is ready to go, let's grease up the cake pans. Add about a teaspoon of coconut oil to grease each pan. And spread it around. Now just eyeball it and divide the batter in half. And the best part about this batter Totally edible. Mmm. <laughs> now you have to flatten it out without spitting it, you lick. I gotta clean this. No, don't worry about cleaning it. I'm the I one eating it. it. I'm the one who cares. I'm the one eating it. Steph's trick. It's a pretty good trick, actually. I know. See, it works. Because you don't want to lose all the air bubbles. See? Look at that. That's pretty good. Ta da! One on one side. Side. These have been soaking since yesterday, so now I'm just gonna drain the water out. To a food processor, add in the cashews, coconut oil, Himalayan salt, coconut sugar, a splash of vanilla, and some lemon juice. Push down the sides. Blend again. This has been blended for about five minutes and as you can see, it could use a little bit more liquid. So if yours looks like this as well, start by adding just one tablespoon of water, blend it again, and let's see what happens. Now you can see this is much better. Oh yeah. Wait until the cakes are fully cooled before we put this on. It's been about 20 minutes. Mmm, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice and golden around the edges. Get that one out. Look at that. Now that the cake has cooled off, we're going to put it onto our plate. So, here's the bottom layer. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh. Beautiful. 
Well. <laughs> ah, lovely. Now we're gonna make this a naked cake. So we're gonna put a third of the cashew cream on this. Now we're gonna add on some blueberries. Mmm, hidden surprises. For a beautiful top layer. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is scary. This is so good. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> See? Oh, on camera. Look at that. And guys, if you are making this cashew cream and you're not gonna frost it right away, put the cashew cream in the fridge before you frost. Now we're gonna decorate the cake with some fresh fruit. Ooh. <laughs> wow, look at that. Easy as that, guys. Let us know if you make this birthday cake for someone special and send us your pictures. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's good. You can check the description box below for all the ingredients and the macros. Not that you should really care about the macros on someone's birthday, because this is probably the healthiest dessert you can possibly make someone. That's right. Have a great week, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Namaste. Oh, namaste. Look at the cake, but. <laughs> oh, I said you've changed my, you completely changed my mindset on what a cake is. <laughs> There you go. It was a revelation and I'm gonna have to go away, sit on a jetty somewhere and rethink what <laughs> <I think. laughs> Can you believe you made a cake with no eggs and no butter and no sugar? I can because you post about it a lot, but um, until I've actually tasted it, I was skeptical. There you go. That's the cake, people. Gorgeous. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. No eggs. Yeah. No eggs. No, I cannot believe it. No milk, no eggs, no dairy at all, no butter, no sugar at all. Wow, tastes normal to me. Yeah. Tastes very normal, yeah, yeah! I think it's probably fair that we ask the, the most unhealthy person in the room who lives off Red Bull and fried, anything fried, and what he thought of it. And it's this guy right here. And he, he said to me beforehand, he's, he said he's not going to try it because there's no <laughs> the sugar in it. There's no cream or, or sugar in it. There's no sugar, eggs or milk. Three of my favorite things. But yes, yeah, it was. So absolutely. what did you think of it? It was absolutely delicious. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Peace. Peace.